Welcome back friends. Today we are talking about what has become our favorite camping RV accessory of 2021, these Midland X Talkers. We're going to go over, we're going to show you what comes in the package, we're going to go over its features, then we're going to do a little range test and talk to you about how we use them at the campsite and even here at home. So I hope you enjoy. Stick around. start first and foremost by thanking Midland. They reached out to us to see if we'd like to review their walkie-talkies and to be quite honest I was a little hesitant. I was like eh, I really hadn't used walkie-talkies much. I don't know how much we'll use them. Um, the ones I have used in the past have been kind of like toys I guess. Uh, but yeah send them to us. We'll see if we use them. If we like them we'll certainly bring them to our audience. So we do like them. We really like them. I'm going to open this package up right here. It comes in a nice carrying case. Let's open this up show you what you get and like I said in the intro we'll talk about how we use them and do a little range test. Here we go I love that it comes these comes with the uh, these are the T71X talkers and it comes with this nice foam padded case nothing's bouncing around uh, real basic desktop chargers uh, the clips generally insert here wall charger USB charger and of course two walkies now we have two sets of these so all four of us have a walkie at the campground. We'll talk about that when we discuss how we use them. And then on this side, you've got some, uh, here's the car charger. You've got some earpieces here. So it can have kind of a silent mode going on here. So these of you like to hunt, stuff like that, uh, those come in handy here. And then of course, we have our little uh, our little manual here. I can't express how important it is to read this manual. These things have so many features uh, that I just can't, it, yeah, we'll talk about the features, but yeah, make sure to read this. These things do a lot more than you think they might. So uh, if you're like me, and you're just kind of an amateur guy dealing with some walkies, you don't realize what these things do now. They really are cool. All right, let's pop one of these out and give you kind of a close-up view of them. Very nice construction. These are not toys. Now, the kids use them as toys. They love to use these at the campground, but these are built, these are high, these are high quality builds. These aren't the $20, $30 walkies that you're going to get at uh, your cheapos at Walmart. Granted, you can find these at Walmart, but uh, yeah, this is a next level construction and the capabilities of it, again, which we'll go over here in just a second. One thing I will show you, you have the option of using the rechargeable batteries or you can use three double A's in here. That's a nice option to have uh, in that you could you could imagine situations where that would be nice to have. You got your speaker here, your mic here. These are water resistant talk button. Um, we'll go again we'll go over the features here in just a second. As I just mentioned the features on these things are numerous. I had to make some notes because there's just so many. I'm gonna go over really quickly so listen up if you're interested, three year warranty, 36 channels, two boom mic headsets, soft share shell carrying case, you just saw that, clear crisp communication with easy button access. That's one feature about these that is 100% true. They are the clearest, crispest walkie talkies, crispest a word, uh, I have ever used. So th there's a whole different level of the toy walkie talkies versus these. These are a different level of clarity for sure. Extreme range up to 38 miles. I think everyone knows you'd have to be on two oil booms in the Gulf of Mexico to get to, to, to go 38 miles, but it does have great range. There's not a campground I know of that you're going to have, you're going to run out of range. So maybe some BLM lands out west, but here on the east coast, you'll be fine at any campground. 121 privacy codes, weather alert radio with weather scan. We'll talk about that for sure. Uh, silent operation, high low power settings. Obviously, that's a safe battery if you need it. And Evox hands-free operation, we'll also talk about that. So those are the rundown of the features of these T71 x -Talk. All right, I'm behind the mic, so the sound's a little bad, but I want you to be able to hear the radio. Uh, obviously, turn these things on. We keep them on channel two because these things have enough range where other owners may actually bleed in on channel one. Everyone just seems to keep their radios on channel one, but that's one reason for having multiple channels is you can just bump over to your own channel. Um, you can do high, high power on channels one through seven, I believe, and then also 14 through 38. I think that's right. There's a couple of channels in there that you can't do high mode because of regulations, government regulations. 
But yeah, you know, high mode, you're good to go. You can see your battery indicator channel. It's on high mode right now. If I want to do the weather radio, I just basically hold this down. So this is also this is also a scan weather radio alert. So you can pop this on. Let me do it again. Pop it up. See it scanning. Channel two is best for us. There we go. But it picks it right up. Pop back out of that by hitting this side button here. So this will also scan for weather alerts. So when it's when it's turned on, that cloud will be blinking right there, and it's constantly scanning for any type of severe weather, which is invaluable in an RV. One of my very favorite features about this radio is it can be hands-free. So I'm not touching the walkie, and you can hear my voice back there in that radio. Check, 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 radio check. And when I'm done, it knows when I'm finished talking. Now, besides being able to set up or break down camp, also hike, bike, anything like that, the Evox feature is invaluable for all of that. But for us, we love this hands-free feature because of parenting. So the walkie-talkies have allowed us to loosen the leash a little bit on the little ones. It allows them, one of the big things about RVing is to uh, introduce some independence to the kids. Now, we always keep an eye on them. We have, they have to be in line of sight 99% of the time but they can go to the playground when it's a little further away now. They can ride their bike a little bit further away now. They love that. With this hands-free option, if I turn the Evox on on their walkie-talkies, I can hear what's going on all the time. So if they're at the playground and uh, there's some things I don't like, I can just pop in and say, hey guys, that's inappropriate, or hey guys, you need to come on back to the campsite. They don't know I'm listening, so it's kind of like a spy device in a way. Speaking of kids, because of these builds, I'm much more confident in how long these are going to last as the kids beat them up. They love to play with them. I mean, all of us used to love playing with walkie-talkies when we were little, but these are going to last a little bit longer. They're also water-resistant, and they have that three-year warranty. So, yeah. Are they a little more pricey? Of course, but do you get what you pay for? I think so. All right, one last way we use these walkie-talkies is getting into a site. Now, most of the time we have cell phone coverage, but being campgrounds, sometimes that coverage is very spotty. So the old-fashioned way of using walkie-talkies with RVers is to get into the site, and obviously these do that just fine. All right, let's do a range test. Let me hop in the Jeep. I'm going to leave one of these walkies here with Brooke, make sure I got my batteries full. I'm going to hop in the Jeep, take off, and let's see what we get. I'm hoping for a one mile. Now, I know this is advertised for 5 to 38 miles depending on conditions, but one, we're heavily forested here. It's very humid. We've got tons of, I mean, we've got trees all over the place. So if I can get a mile out of this, that would be great. And honest, quite honestly, if you've got a mile, you're going to be able to cover any campground, uh, at least around us. All right, we definitely have full battery. Okay, guys, we're in the Jeep, and there happens to be an intersection. I looked it up on Google Maps, intersection that's exactly a mile away as the bird flies. So I've got Brooke outside. She's going to be testing this. Uh, obviously, if she was indoors, the range would be shortened as well. But yeah, let's see what we got. Uh, you copy? Is it test test? You copy? Loud and clear. All right. So let me get about half mile down the road. We'll try again. And if that's good, we'll keep going to a mile. All right. You guys see this gate? Well, that ripped my awning off. We'll talk about that in a future video. All right. We're a half a mile away right now. Still seems to be very clear. Radio check, radio check. Hey, I can hear you. So far, so good see what we get all right I got Brooke on the phone and we are exactly a mile away it's real shaky at this point so let's see Brooke call the radio and see if we can pick it up yeah it's not it's not coming through let me see if I can hit you radio check radio check did you hear that Brooke Did you hear that? Yeah. You did? 
You responded, okay. So for some reason, it's going one way and not the other. She can hear almost everything I'm saying, but for some reason, I'm only picking about up about 30% of what she's saying. So that's interesting. Uh, but we're one mile through nothing but trees, basically. And uh, half mile, I'm happy. Was hoping for one mile, but there you go. Okay, we're gonna split the distance. Three quarters of a mile, and you can see what we're in here. This just all trees. So in our house happens to be straight that way, at three quarters of a mile. Let's see what we get. All right, radio check, radio check. So that was shaky, right? Radio check, radio check. One more time, you were kind of, you're breaking up on that one for sure. I can hear you clear. Okay. So she can hear me loud and clear. She's breaking up a little bit on my end. Kind of weird. I don't know. I don't know all the ins and outs of walkie talkies, but in the end, for campgrounds, I'm super happy with them. All right, guys, there you have it. Three quarters of a mile, basically through dense forest, uh, hoping for a mile, but three quarters doesn't disappoint me. Uh, I'm going to link a, a, a website below that, uh, down below that will explain to you how they determine these, uh, these ranges that they have. Obviously, this one advertises five to 38 mile ranges. And of course, that's under ideal conditions, et cetera, et cetera. So there's a link that explains that better down below. Uh, I think you'll be hard pressed to find a walkie that does this well in these conditions. Um, that said, if you're interested in any of this, if you're interested in these walkies, Midland, and to, for the rest of this year actually, is going to provide you guys with 15% off using the promo code Wondering W K N D S. Um, that's one word. 15% off site wide except for the biz radios, like the business radios, they don't offer the discount on that. But the, all the other stuff, the weather radios, they have nice weather radios if you just wanted a weather radio. Matter of fact, where is that one? Here's that, just for, uh, they sent us one of these as well. And uh, it's self-charging, so it's got the little emergency. If you didn't have any power, you've also got a little uh, solar panel on top. So they've got this as well. Uh, you guys have seen these before, but this is this is quite nice. But the walkie-talkies do this too. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Use that promo code. Uh, save yourself a little bit of money if you want some walkies. And go spy on your kids. See ya.